So welcome back friends to the Wrangler Star Command Center. So uh, several of you have asked me to share uh, what uh, some of these projects uh, that have been going on in the homestead and for the last, well, basically for the last six or seven days, uh, you're looking at it. Uh, this is uh, this is my command center and it was uh, uh, never really completed. Uh, it was kind of um, a temporary solution uh, when we first moved into the place uh, that I had been living with for a long time. And so I had decided, you know, when I asked myself, what's the thing you don't want to do this week? And it was get this finished. And it was a big job. There was a lot of things, a lot of complexities to it. There was, as I said, electrical drywall and I had to get inspections. And so what I want to share with you is a little bit before what it looked like. Um, I lost some of the footage. I accidentally formatted a card, but I do have quite a bit of it of the initial demo and all of that. I'll share that with you here in a bit. Um, and then uh, the finished product, and it's 100% done. I had the electrical inspector uh, here uh, Friday. We got signed off on everything, and we're, we're, it's nice. It's, it's nice to have one thing in my life that is completely 100% done, um, and I'll share that with you now. It simply meant that you lived on the rocky peninsula that stretched down into the Mediterranean Sea like a boot. Of course. Still up to me, Wax raised his gun beside his head. The wind of the transmotion blowing the smoke away from the barrel. All right, welcome back, everyone. This is day two. It's amazing how what the Mrs. Wrangler Star always says. Figure what you think it's gonna take and then triple it when you live out where we live. And that's about the case. I was thinking, it was very ambitious. I'm like, I'm gonna get this all done and prep for paint in one day. Didn't happen, but we got a lot of stuff done, didn't we, Jack? Yeah. Okay, let's give you a quick tour and then we're gonna to get to it. And I think we're gonna get some paint on the walls today. So starting over here is uh, we got rid of all of the wood and the old barn wood and all that stuff. We, we did that when we were we moved in and we didn't have uh, two pennies to rub together. Um, and we scrounged some things and, and that's what we came up with. But it wasn't it wasn't done very well and it was it was time for it to go. So uh, match the the really nice T and G paneling in the rest of the house as an accent wall. Uh, this will be my office back here or behind my desk right here. So we got all that paneling all up. I've got everything all trimmed over here Jack this over here uh, is going to be my dream gun storage uh, ammunition storage um, project deal which I'm that's what the reason that this whole thing started was I wanted to share that with you but it didn't make sense for me to put all this in take it all out and to redo this I'm like okay we got to bite the bullet and get it done so this is all of the backing right here that's tied in for the studs the green wall, of course, I was gonna use a green screen, it didn't work, I didn't know how to do it, it was the wrong sheen and all that. Over here, uh, to the French door, this is actually a beautiful French door uh, that was just never finished, so we got this all, the craftsman style, all of this all trimmed and cased in. Uh, we got all the baseboards done. We've got the floor all uh, protected. So right now, uh, I'm gonna be teaching Jack, so I'll, I'll bring you, show you guys a few pro tips as well. We're gonna do a drywall patch up in here on that spot. Um, and a bazillion different things. So let me show you how much is involved with a simple project like this in regard, in re regarding equipment and tools. It's staggering. The staggering bit is the amount of stuff you have to have for this type of thing. Remodeling is the worst of all constructions because you have to do everything. You've got to do finish, you've got to do paint, you've got to do drywall, you've got to do electrical, on and on and on and on. So I'll just just to show you what I've got drug around here. It took hours and hours just to set all this up before we could even start working. So we've got the chop saw set up right here uh, for all of our trim. We've got drywall, uh, all the, we gotta do texturing. Uh, we've got the power tools, we've got the air hose, we've got electrical stuff, we've got lighting, we've got paint stuff, we've got carpentry stuff, finish stuff, on and on and on. Over here we got battery chargers, we've got scaffolding, <laughs> table saw, shop vac, uh, what else did I miss? Anything else? We haven't even start, begun yet. This was a full type. This was a huge project just to get this in order. Is that the right ones? All right, up. Is good? No, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Wall board. This is very handy for repairs because that adhesiveness it holds the mud really well. To cut it, you just put your knife on there, tear it. Okay, so got the got the first coat on. So here's the finished product. Uh, gone is all of the uh, the barn wood and the firewood slabs uh, with a nice cleaner um, kind of a beadboard paneling wall that we put. Or, 
co covering that we put on there that matches uh, the rest of the house. Also replaced all of the baseboard, all of the trim around the doors and the windows, all the finish work, kind of updated that from the old, uh, you know, the old 90s stuff. Uh, let me bring you over here closer and you can kind of see the wall. So here you can better see the, that back wall. This is where the firewood was um, and the replaced with the beadboard. So all the trim works changed. Also went with um, a flat paint uh, throughout because it's just a little bit warmer um, and it reflects light a little bit less and it, it just doesn't have that shine, that sheen to it. So I did a, a gray ceiling uh, to kind of you know, tone that down. It's a little bit easier on your eyes and then a, um, a very rich, uh, you know, golden kind of white color uh, that we like to use. Also replaced all the plugs. Uh, they had the old brown ones and were kind of worn out. So with brought those up to date, modern plugs. Um, uh, Douglas fir door uh, to match the rest of the house in the craftsman style. Um, just a simple uh, trim there. Also the, uh, the old thermostat uh, didn't work uh, and there was an electric heater in here that, that wasn't functioning. So I updated that, um, put a new cadet in here uh, with a new thermostat. Um, and that just really cleaned things up a, a whole lot. Let me show you my desk too. I, I also got that all wrapped up and finished up and that turned out pretty good as well. So this is my desk where I do all my editing. Uh, I spend quite a bit of time here. And what I found uh, was uh, before when I just had a regular desk, you, as you notice that this is a standing desk, uh, with, a, with sitting so much bit editing videos, it was, um, it's hard on your body, it's hard on your back. You put a lot of pressure on your spine when you sit too much. And I think a lot of back problems and things kind of come from that. Um, and so a good solution for me was to have the ability to either stand or to sit so I could kind of mix it up a little bit. If you can, uh, if it's going to take an hour and a half or two hours to edit a video, uh, what I can do now is I can, um, you know, maybe stand for a half hour and by, because this is electric, I can just hit these preset buttons and uh, the desk will go down uh, into where I like to sit. And so that's been really, really helpful to me. Um, to be able to mix that up. I just kind of keep an eye on my watch and, and change it up a little bit so that uh, I'm not spending too much time uh, in the seated, oops, <laughs> seated position here. So these, uh, these used to be super expensive. I found this on Amazon where I just um, uh, bought the base. Uh, they don't come with a top on it. You can buy the base for a few hundred dollars um, and then you can go to Ikea or, or wherever and just get a butcher block top and put, or put your own top on it and it works really good. When you want it to go back up, you can just set the preset. I think there's like five presets on here. Um, and it's really cool. Uh, it just helps to get you, kind of get you moving and, and uh, ease up your, breaks up your routine a little bit. As far as the desk goes, uh, for my editing, uh, what I edit on is a, um, a MacBook uh, or iMac. iMac, this was, this is not a Mac, this is not the Pro. Uh, but it's the the fastest one that they make that's not the pro because I ended up uh, when you're messing with 4k video You have to have a really powerful machine um, Also, I've got uh, two four terabyte drives in the back uh, that I use for storage backup storage uh, Keyboard and I do my editing with the new magic trackpad uh, I like prefer that over a mouse. It just I like the gestures and it just seems to be easier and then I I, I get these gigantic I like these gigantic mouse pads. <laughs> I think they're for gaming or something, uh, but they're just a huge pad. So everything you touch is warm and soft when you spend a lot of time on here. Um, I have a professional uh, grade uh, studio monitor speakers. These are audio engine. Um, sometimes I'll edit with those. Sometimes I'll edit uh, also with, um, with headphones. It just kind of depends. And then uh, this is a Rode video uh, our microphone boom uh, that uh, is really nice on a I think this is just a Yeti blue Yeti blue Yeah, blue Yeti microphone Isolated on the rubber thing so you don't get a lot of noise So nice about this is it just kind of hangs out of the way and you can pull it down when you want to do a voiceover and put it away and that ties into the computer. So over here on the left side, this is where I keep my, my headphones. I, these are always getting knocked over and fall, falling off. These are Sony um, uh, studio headphones and I just got this curtain hanger that we had left over from Ikea and hung it on there. And that's been, it's been I've really enjoyed that. It's really worked good and it's kept them protected out of the way. And something that I've really, really loved is that this, this plugs in and um, this was just a cheapo deal, but it's a, you can see it's kind of like a turntable uh, and it controls your volume. Also, you can plug in your studio monitors and your, your uh, headphones and you're not having to switch jacks by simply by pushing this button right here. It switches to headphones, which I can control the volume here. Uh, and then it switches over to studio monitors and I can change the volume over there. So here on the north wall, this is uh, Jack, Jack's desk. Uh, we're usually always in here together. We spend a lot of time together and he's got um, his monitor 
uh, when he has to do computer work, he'll, he has a laptop, he'll bring it in here, and he gets one hour a day of uh, video game time, and oftentimes him and I, we play together. Uh, so he's got his speakers and desk and all of that and, and lamp, and so usually when I'm working, uh, he'll be in here uh, doing his thing and kind of working with me. And finally, the east wall. This is the one that I was uh, very excited about. I've really enjoyed this. This is where I keep have all of my safes and storage now. Um, so what I what I end up doing is that th this is a cabinet. This main cabinet here I use for just protecting a lot of stuff. I, I'm in this pretty much all the time. I've really enjoyed having it, and it locks up. So I. I keep valuable things and things that I need to access all the time are all in one spot here now. So all of my optics and there's batteries and, and watches and you know just the, all of this all the, just the stuff that I want to kind of look after and, and protect and keep in there. What took a lot of the time was just all of the little unfinished projects that were in here. You know, like there was a there's a French door right there that was unfinished and it wasn't drilled for a deadbolt and all of that. So that was half a day and keying everything alike and I redid all the weather stripping and there wasn't I have a bathroom off my office here and there wasn't the door was all messed up so that had to be all rehung so I redid all of that um, bolting all of the cabinets and everything in here and doing the battery you know place for battery storage and where I keep stuff and all that stuff just took a lot of time uh, but it turned out really good there's it's kind of a small room but it's a pretty good use of space and and it accommodates Jack and I we both we have to be careful, we can't just bring everything in here, but it is kind of dedicated as our office and do work here. And, and the, the, this storage system here has worked really good for uh, putting a lot of stuff in a really compact area. And finally, I redid the overhead lighting. There was some uh, some really crummy track lighting in there, and I swapped that out for these. They're pretty kind of cool looking, uh, just they're round, dimmable LEDs. They're not anything really fancy, I just found them at Home Depot. They were kind of shop, I guess they were for shop lights, I don't know, or maybe offices, but they turned out really good because they are uh, they have good coverage, they're really bright, and they're dimmable. I don't like uh, intense overhead light, I like it to be really subtle, and so when I, that's the reason why I did the ceiling kind of a flat, darker gray uh, to warm that up a little bit, and then I put them on a dimmable switch over there. Uh, also, there's the spot, you know, I had to repatch and match the texture for that drywall, and that stuff takes so much time because you have to nail the drywall and then you have to put three coats and each coat takes an, a day to dry and then a fourth day for texturing and then you got to prime it with PVA and then you got to put two coats of paint on it. I mean, good grief. <laughs> it just goes on and on and on. So that's it for today's video. I, I can't tell you the feeling of relief and accomplishment to, to have this done. It was um, I, I many times during this project that I wanted to quit and to give up and, and to move on to something that was a little bit more fun and I, I just dug in and, and I t kept telling myself you quit when it's done um, and it's 100% done and to have the ele electrical inspection uh, kind of was a nice cap on, on the whole thing. So yes there's plenty of other things to do around here uh, but uh, I'm going to use that same level of intensity and focus um, and attack the next project and, and many and maybe in a few years we'll have uh, have this place ship shape. So we're going to move out to, to the orchard. We've got about uh, 40 fruit, fruit trees to plant today. Uh, the whole family, is, we're looking forward to that. We're going to do it together and maybe we could even get the sweet loaf out there to help. Uh, so I'll bring you along for that in the next video. So thanks for watching and we'll see you guys on the next video.